it brings me a bit to sort of my experience here in 2009 mm -hmm. in Canada where, you know, you, you, as a director, you go on audition for a certain show and you'll have actors come and audition and say it's a Shakespeare show. And you get a lot of nice Canadian actors coming in and they dare do a very good monologue and they're truthful, whatever. And then a lady, uh, an actress comes from Bosnia-Herzegovina or, or uh, Serbia mm -hmm. and she does a monologue. And the, the key signature of passion is so much larger Absolutely. and truthful. Yes. And it seems to be outside the ken of our kind of yeah. cultural palette. Yes, absolutely so. And for me, I go, well, that actress has heard something in Shakespeare that somehow we haven't heard yet. We haven't heard, yeah. And so is that's our culture, Peter? Is that I that think is? so. I think so. We're a very understated people. <clears throat> and uh, we, we, I don't think we, we care to stand out especially. I think uh, the, the norm is routine, very quiet, very, very reserved. I don't think we accept big upheavals of emotion. Those things are to be avoided. Those things are embarrassing. Those things are simply plain bad form. That's the wasp. That's the British heritage. That's, yes, that's, that's bad form, that's stiff upper lip. Yeah, yep. that's the, the pioneer, the British. But now we and have... the Scots, the Scots, we have that in us. But if I look at Scots film, or if I look at Scandinavian films, which again are dressed down cultures, mm -hmm. yeah. there is an intensity beneath the work in yeah. Bergman and beneath the whim, you know, My Life as a Dog and all those wonderful yes, films. There is yeah. an intensity beneath that we don't have. That's right. What's that about? That's true. Uh, I, I just don't think we, uh, we reach those levels of intensity in our personal lives. We avoid them. Or maybe we've watched too much TV. Well, it's all television. I mean, television now is just so watered down. Yep. And even, even the acting that you see on sitcoms and so on is fake acting. Uh, so. it's, it's people behaving the way people behave on TV. So it's at one further remove. Uh, the, the way they toss off a little smart-ass comic line. Um, the, all, of, all of the emotion is manufactured, and it's manufactured on the model of previous manufactured TV shows. It's at least a two removes from anything real. And who teaches them to do that, to pretend to be like what they saw on television? Oh, I think that's just the line of least resistance. I don't think anybody's... Uh, guiding them that way particularly, except that the, the, the ethos is no, no, do less, do less, don't act, don't act, don't act. Right. Don't, don't do anything that isn't real. Well, right. I mean, we talk about this distinction between what is natural and what is truthful. And what is the distinction between naturalism and truth-driven acting? Well, naturalism is a photograph, uh, as accurate as we can make it, of what actually happens out in the street. That would be naturalism. Truth is that recognition of some profoundly human reality that connects instantly one human being to another. Tolstoy says in What is Art that all Genuine art works by contagion. It's a contagion. It's there. And there's nothing cerebral about it. There's nothing filtered about it, nothing strained about it. It is. It just is in that instant. It's a contagion. And that's the first thing that I say to my kids in the first year. But there's a student in your first year class and he looks at television and television careers that are based on button-down acting, yeah. naturalism acting. Yeah. That's where the paychecks are, that's where the careers are. That's right. And here's Peter Wilde going, but open up, yes. let it be truthful, let it go. Yes. He goes, I don't see any of that in the marketplace. Yes. Uh, where am I going to go as an artist? Am I going to go with Peter to this, this place of wild truth that doesn't <laughs> get hired out there? So does the artist create the change in the environment? Or do we have to go along with what? We certainly don't have to go along with anything. I think we're, artists are for changing. 
That's, that's, that's who we are. We go out and change things. And uh, no, I keep telling them, uh, I want to see what you specifically are bringing to this. I want to see you show me how you are unique, what you precisely have to teach us about life experience. Go, be free, do anything you want, but remain connected to your partners. You're always connected to your partners. It's astonishing what, what we can get when they learn to trust their imaginations. This is what they don't have, you see. Imagination is addled because they have this wretched electronic nursemaid from the, their earliest infants, infancy, and they never are asked to use their imaginations. So what they imagine is what they've already had prepackaged for them. Uh, and that's what they have bought as truth. That's what you do when you act. That's how they act on television. That's, that's what, and so they confuse that with something real.